Hi, this is Jennifer Lawrence with the America First Project. We're here with Millie, and Millie, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven, and where are you from? Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. So you are decked out. You look fabulous. Why do you support Mr. Trump? So one day I was at home watching the TV. This is before the election sort of began. And then there was this guy. He talked about all the issues we were facing, all the problems. Okay, that's normal. Every politician does that. Then something extraordinary happened. He said how to fix them. And, you know, that is amazing. No politician ever says how to fix them. Maybe some do, but, you know, they don't really mean it. You know, they're all talk, no action. And I could tell, by the way, Donald Trump meant that he was going to do some action. But how? Then he said those words I will never, ever in my life forget. I, Donald J. Trump, am running for president. And he talked about all these issues. And one of the other reasons I like him is because this is my favorite reason. We will build a wall on our southern borders. And Mexico, no buts about it, Mexico will pay for the wall. Mexico, Mexico, not us. Mexico, one way or another, they are paying for that wall. They, they will. Do you talk about your, this to your teacher? Oh, yeah, she's actually a Republican. Oh, she is? Does anybody in your school give you a hard time for supporting Mr. Trump? Lots of the kids that in my class do. Some, mostly the sixth graders do a lot, you know. Yeah. What do they say to you? Well, they say they really know me for my golden jacket I love, but then they say, oh, it's Trump girl and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't let it get to me. So what are the major problems you see in this country? Immigration, you know, I, I love immigrants. If they come here legally, legally, legally. I don't like the word illegally. I like legally. And if they're not going to do that, we have to put some precautions. As a kid, what do you see as, like, other than immigration, what is the other problems that you see? Education. The teachers' union controls everything. So I, I like how Donald Trump put in charge of education um, a lady named Miss Betsy, I think. She's, Betsy DeVos? Yes, Miss Betsy DeVos. And, I mean, she's just great. She's doing everything we need to. And I heavily support school choice. Did your parents get you involved in politics? Not really. Actually, my mommy was a Ted Cruz supporter in the primaries. I told her on the primary the day of voting, I told her to vote for Trump. She needs to vote for Trump. She, she didn't listen to me. But that's okay. But now, after the primary, she realized the mistake she did. I, I mean, I, I like Ted Cruz, you know, just not as much as Donald Trump. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I'm going to graduate from Penn State University, be in the Army for five years, be a police officer, be a homicide detective, be a detective, be a private investigator, all while having the hobby as an Egyptologist and an astronomer. And then I'll retire, become a judge, and, and then um, if the country really needs me, I'll run for president. Yes, on the Supreme Court. Oh, so you're going to run for president. That would be awesome. And what are you going to are you going to run like Mr. Trump ran and tell the media that, you know, they're not what is going to make the world go around anymore, that it's the American people that are what's going to make the world go around? Of course. But I mean, I don't know how I'll, the way I'll run for president, because I don't know what the politics will be like when I grow up. Maybe something will change. You know, maybe the media will be a little bit nicer. Not going to happen. Um, but, you know, I just don't know the way I should run yet. And maybe, like, I won't know that until I'm ready to run for president, which is way after I'm 30, let's just say that. So if, if Mr. Trump wasn't in the, if he wasn't in the election this cycle, would you have been involved in politics like you are? I, I don't really know. I mean, I've always been involved in politics, but just not really that much, you know, just a little bit. But, I mean, without Trump, I wouldn't be here. I mean, I wouldn't be at CPAC. I would just be at home watching TV, playing video games, watching Disney, maybe watching a little bit of news, but not as much as I do now.